Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Minecraft 1.6.2 Modded Beta Episode 14. Um, last time, you remember, we ran into the problem of uh, no sulfur. Well, the I did find a type of sulfur that works, Railcraft sulfur, which can only be found in extreme mountains and extreme mountain edge. Well, fortunately, it can also be found in Alps, which is a biome added by uh, extra biomes or biomes are plenty. I think it's biomes of plenty I'm using. And that, so I dug, there was Alps right near the city site, so I dug a new mine down and I have plenty of sulfur now. So we can finish that. I think I'm going to go ahead and tear this down here. So let's see. If we can manage to do it without losing anything. It looks like everything came out okay. And then we'll go ahead and break this and this and ultimately we'll move the chest. And I did fix my problem with uh, um, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't figure out the command to change it back. The problem with not enough items. That wasn't a good thing to do. Okay, let's see if we can get the chest. There's the chest. Okay, we're going to set the chest back down on the ground. Right there. Right there. And then we'll try to get everything back in the chest. Yay, there's everything back in the chest. We'll build a new chest. And as you can see, I had the problem that it turned on the uh, boundaries again, so we'll have to fix that. So. I'm going to go out quick, fix that. I'll be right back and we'll start in building. Okay, I'm back. Let's go ahead and teleport over to the other side. I like the fact that the pigs, the entities always appear before everything else, so you see all of the pigs and chickens and that. And my other farm. But the Alps are right. You can see the beacon. I died and lost a small amount of stuff. I met a skeleton knocked me into lava that was right next to flowing water. So I'll, I got out and died, but most of my stuff was in the flowing water. But right there, that little wooden thing is just a uh, shaft with a lather going down and. I had good luck there. I got a bunch of diamonds and other stuff, so I'll probably do some more mining there in the future. Okay, so let's head to our industrial craft building. I don't know why I have a hole there. Okay, so where were we? We need to make batteries. So now that I have the sulfur of the correct type, I can make my three batteries. And then I can make my C -E -C -E CSU, that thing, yeah. So then we're going to go ahead and make room here for machines to go and then jump into our basement. Yay! 
And how do I want to redo this? Okay, so I want to do that. And I think I want my Okay, and then we want to set this to fixed step down so it will always step down power. Do we want it that way? Or do we want it that way? I think actually we want it this way because I think I'm going to put our new CSU right here and then have the power go up and then we need some copper cable And then that should go there. And that's now charging. And for some reason, it takes a while for the cables to connect sometimes. They do connect, they just take a while. So, I don't know if it's a drawing issue or what the issue actually is. Okay, now I need some tin cable. I think I have some down here, don't I? Or up here. Yep. So we're going to put our extractor right here. Now this cable can only handle 32k packets and it only sends one packet a tick total. So the most I can use on this entire line is 32 which is different than it used to be. So I thought I'd point that out. I want to set up my auto processing. I'm trying to figure out how best to set that up. I think the way we'll set it up is we'll put a, the macerator here. And then we'll put the furnace here. Do I want it that way? Uh, I think for the time being, because then we can We'll put one more space here, and like I said, I don't know when power drops off on these cables. I can't find any information on it. We're going to have another machine there. Which means I'm going to go ahead and put my that 
there, and that there, and the lever there, and then we'll put our tesseracts. Well, except they have to go in the top, don't they? Or do they? I don't know what they do on. Let's find out. Nope, that's the wrong way. This is the way we want. And let's throw a piece of cobble in. And they may change this all out because I'm probably going to set up a separate ore processing system. Okay, that does work. So we're going to need a chest. Iron chest. So let's put, we need uh, some more glass, so let's put some cobble in there. And we'll go ahead and put a hopper on here. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade our generator. So we're going to need some tin. Glass and iron. Okay, so first of all, need some iron plates. Because we need to make one of these. So we need item casings and an empty cells. I guess that's right, I didn't need that many. Now let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay, and change this to that mode. I think guess that would be roller mode maybe. I don't know what they'd call that. Okay. And then we need our glass. And we get our geothermal generator. Grab that and some extra cable. And go ahead and put our new geothermal right here, so it'll fill up with lava. And then put our cable here. 
and that will increase our production speed. And that one's almost full. And that's producing our uh, glass. So we'll have more glass here. So we're in good shape there. So next, what do I want to do? Next, I think I want to build. Good question. Looks like I'll have to build along this wall. And we can't go in that square because of the way I wired stuff. So we're going to need some more wire. And we better get a whole bunch. And next we actually need a compressor. So we're also going to need iron. And I don't know if the advanced machines work right. We'll have to find that out. That's what I thought. Okay. Let's go get our smooth stone. And we'll need, I think I got redstone in there, so I should be fine there. Oh, more iron and smooth stone. Oops, I need that iron. And throw that in there, and that in there, and that in there. And that in there. Okay. Actually, I do need one more plate, don't I? Okay. So to make a circuit is still copper cables. We should be fine there. We need an iron plate, redstone. They should have everything we have once it gets done processing, or everything we need. Do I still have the tools in my Backpack. Might as well speed this up and do a little of this manually. Except I get more 
Do I get more out of this? I think I get more out of this machine. I'm not positive on that. We'll find out here in a minute. Yep, we get more if we run it through the machine. Oops. Oops, I don't have redstone here. I thought I had redstone. I'm pretty sure I have some over in this chest. Need to get my automated crafting system set up soon. The question is do I use logistics pipes or implied energetics? I probably have the resources to build both, but I'm not sure I have anywhere near the amount of power I would need to maintain an applied energetic energetics. Okay, now I should be able to make this, and then we should be able to just do this, and we have a compressor. Yay! So that gives us the basic machines. And here is where my more fancy machines are going to come. Though I may build them up that wall. Hmm, I'm not sure. It would really help if I knew how far I can run the cables. Well, maybe I need to make glass. I got some diamonds. Maybe I need to go make glass. Fiber cable. There you can see the Alps. Okay, that'll help take care of that. And what else did I come back here for? I know I came back here for something. I know I did. Well, the next thing we want to do, build... It's going to be an ore washing plant. And that's going to be complicated. Not too bad, though. What does it take to build overclockers now? Ten. 
10K coolant cells, which are made by surrounding water cells with tin plates. So I could build that. Then a couple circuits. Okay, so I think next we're going to build overclockers. Now let's go ahead and grab a stack of this, and 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 this, and this, and this. We'll leave that, and that, and a stack of this. And we're going to go ahead and throw them. This is where they're going to wind up as they're produced. So we'll throw them in there. And while I'm thinking of it, let's go check on our tree farm because I haven't refilled it for a while, so it may be fairly low. Where's it getting wood from? Oh, from here. I accidentally made it refilling. Well, isn't that amazingly uh, strange of me? If one's out of coal, it refills itself. That was completely unintentional. Some of you guys may have thought I had made a brilliant decision. So it had run out of coal. It just, oh, it's going to run out of dirt soon, though. I need to get more dirt for it. Ooh, I have redstone right here. I didn't even remember that. Or is that clay? No, that's clay. Okay, let's go ahead and make an overclocker or two. So I think I have three cells in here. Four cells. I only need three. And then I need some tin plates. I'll need 12 of those. And we'll need a circuit. So now I need my cells. I need to go get these cells filled with water. But first let's make a day. Oh, I was going to fill the cells with water, that's right. To do, to do, to do. And how are we doing here? First eight are done. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So there's one, there's two, waiting in our last plate here.
Oops, I have to actually put it in there. Okay. Okay, well next episode we'll probably build the washer and hopefully add the resources to build the uh, centrifuge as well and I may have to, I'm probably going to rearrange things here either next episode or between episodes because I just, it just occurred to me a better way to do what I'm doing that will probably work a little bit better. We'll have to see. But uh, until next time, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying what you dislike. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun Minecrafting.